<laughs> okay, I am Joe Yergi here from uh, Mulberry's owner and cook. And what is this? This is uh, extra virgin olive oil. This is a very good extra virgin olive oil, actually. That's fancy. Yeah, all right. So we're going to start with some of that. We're making rigatoni with mussels. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So you've opened, you've steamed these yet? I have not. You we're going to do that. Them. We're going to steam them right in the pan. Okay. Oh, right we're in. Toss the with mussels the oil? right in there, yep. And watch so you don't have here. to actually boil them or anything like well, that. Well, you could. We're good. we're going to do this for uh, just for television's sake, I guess. Okay. Uh, actually, what we would do is uh, steam them ahead of time, and then uh, add them to the dish later on. Okay. Be I'm just standing out of Whoa. fire. Yeah, out of stand out of the way there. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to throw some shallot in there. Okay. And some garlic. All right. I was looking okay. for an apron. Okay, shallots, garlic. How many will this serve? Oh, uh, this right here will serve two people. Okay. And we're just gonna let that cook for a moment. And, will the uh, flavor of the garlic and the shallots actually go into the mussels? It will. Like it that? will. It goes in there. It's beautiful. It makes it real nice. Okay. A little bit of crushed red pepper just for a touch of heat. Uh. And our dreaded anchovy paste. But just a touch, you see? That ain't gonna hurt anybody. Can I smell that? Certainly. Does it... I don't know. I wouldn't suggest it, but. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're going to put some wine in there. And you use Chablis, is it? Does it matter which one you use? You can use Chablis. I use Chablis because it's uh, dry white. You can also use Pinot Grigio. Uh, Chardonnay is a little sweeter, a little oakier. Oh, look at that. They all opened up. And then we're going to put the tomatoes in there. Okay. All right. And then what we do is add some fresh basil to that. You always want to use fresh herbs. Okay. And then that would cook for some time. You can see the mussels beginning to open. And how long do you let this simmer for? Uh, that would probably not, no more than a minute or two. That's it? Uh, just till that uh, alcohol flavor is uh, gone from the wine. Okay. I can smell that. Oh, you get a nice smell from that. Very I can nice smell perfume. everything. I can smell the, the basil, basil the, garlic, the garlic, yes. The mussels. The only thing you can't smell is the anchovy. You're exactly right. I <laughs> smell no fish. All right. Okay, so then we've got this boiling. It ends up to be that after a few minutes. This is our finished dish right here. Okay. Okay, you can see all the beautiful color in there. And again, I'm just going to throw a little bit more basil in there and a, one little knob of butter for some sheen. Okay, while we're doing this, tell us about mulberries. You've been in business for almost six years, a great success. What are the type of foods that you um, sell? Uh, well, we typically we serve uh, Neapolitan, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Southern Italian, which is uh, a lot of tomato sauce, that type of thing. A lot of classic uh, comfort food. Uh, we make probably 70 or 80 percent of what we produce. So everything that you get at the Mulberry, typically we make in the kitchen that day. There's a tremendous amount of labor involved, a tremendous amount of prep. Uh, we have a wonderful staff, a great wait staff, a great kitchen staff. The pasta, you're talking about the pasta as well, because a good majority of it is homemade. We make the managot, we make the pasta for the lasagna. Uh, we do pasta specials from time to time where we make the pasta. Uh, we do every uh, Tuesday, we do homemade lobster ravioli, which we uh, pre uh, prepared on the Food I Network. I think I have that. You were on the Food Network. Right, right. Diners, dives, and... Diners, drive-ins, and dives. And you were with Guy Fieri? That's right. And yeah. he loved it. He did. He did. Uh, it's actually, uh, it's been a great uh, boost for business for us and a lot of exposure that we probably wouldn't have had. Well, we definitely wouldn't have. Would you say it's been mainly word of mouth? Because that's how we heard it. We heard it from officers of the law who you know know their food and good friends of ours. And they said, you got to try mulberries. Let's go there for lunch. We've, I think we've advertised once uh, in print media, and that was in the Penny Saver. Other than that, it's been strictly word of mouth. You're a natural because you, you really, though, didn't start in the food business. No. Nope. You were a collector. Right. And right. just decided, I love food enough. Yeah, why? Well, you know, like I said, you know, <laughs> the tank. Got to Okay. You uh, have two beautiful kids and a beautiful wife. Come on, Dad. Are they going to come? Look at that. I bet they love Dad's food. Do you cook at home as Meat, well? Meatballs. Madeline's a big meatball You're known fan. for your meatballs. Right. The giant meatball that everybody right. has. And Joey okay. loves... Uh, come on. We have Joey, Madeline. Joey's eight. Madeline's five. And then we have beautiful Jennifer. Come on down. Let's join Dad. And you know what? I'm going to grab... Can we grab a dish and can yep. I try it? Sure. Yep. Okay. Now, do you guys love Daddy's food? What, what's your favorite? <laughs> Meatball. <laughs> and you, Joe? Uh, that's right. But you like everything. Yeah. Dad's a great cook. <laughs> okay. What would you serve this with? Anything? We're type gonna, of wine? Uh, yeah, white wine's good with this. Uh, not Chibli. Not Chibli. Uh, <laughs> what, you got a thing against Chibli? <laughs> <laughs> it's good to cook with. And we're going to finish it with a little Parmigiano mm. Reggiano. And people say not to use uh, cheese with shellfish or fish, but I do because that's what they did in Italy. So. 
Uh, they say not to do that? Right, that's correct. Oh, hi. Mm. I do. Good? Love it. All right, beautiful, great. Come on back in the shop. Were you just off just in case I said, oh? <laughs> <laughs> in case I had to run. Mulberries, another great second helping when we come back, and we're going to come back, stay with uh, Madeline, Joe, and Jennifer.